Today, I'm making fried rice for a party of 18 to 20 people. I know there are many of you who are really scared of making fried rice in bulk because you don't know if it will turn out right or if it will spoil or you know, anything like that. Don't worry, I've got you. By the time I'm done showing you how to make this fried rice, step by step, you are going to be a pro. In case you're new to my channel, I'm Ifi and welcome to my channel. If you're an old timer, mwah, thank you for always watching my videos. Do not forget to subscribe if you're yet to subscribe and of course hit that notification icon. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. To make my fried rice recipe, the first thing I love to do is to blend some green bell peppers, just like this. This is something I swear by. It takes your fried rice from here to there. This is a secret tip and make sure you use it in your next fried rice recipe. You will love it, I promise you. So once you put your bell peppers in, you're going to add some water to aid the blending process. Don't worry, add quite a bit of water because we're going to pour it into our rice. So adding a lot of water does not matter, okay? And now we're done. Come, let me show you how I'm going to use this. To make my fried rice recipe, you're going to start by adding some cooking oil into your pot. Oh, and by the way, this is Nigerian fried rice, okay? Nigerian fried rice recipe, the best you'll ever find, all right? So just put some cooking oil here and allow it to get hot. Once your oil is hot enough, go ahead and add in some onions. You all know how much I love onions. So feel free, add as much as little as you want. But onions makes everything taste so good. Next, you're going to add in your um, spices, all right? I'm using thyme. I'm also going to be using some curry powder. Some people don't like to use curry powder, but to get that Nigerian um, fried rice color, you can use turmeric, but I like curry powder. Not so much, because I'm not so big on that very deep color. I'm also going to add some dry pepper, guys. Not too much, just a little. Then I'll stir, so, you know, cook my spices a little bit. Yeah. At this point, I'm going to add my ginger and garlic paste. <laughs> paste. Now, this is just a blend of ginger and garlic, which I always store in my fridge. It's just so handy and it makes everything so easy. You know, it makes cooking a lot easier. So mix, mix, mix. The aroma is heavenly. I mean, ginger, garlic, onions, curry, everything good. All right. So. I'm going to leave this for about one minute. Do not go away, keep stirring so it does not burn. Now is the time to add in your rice. As you can see, my rice is in a sieve because I have rinsed my rice thoroughly. I'm using basmati, so feel free to use any kind of rice you like. And I'm going to mix it thoroughly with the onions, with all the things in this pot, all right? And I'm going to toast my rice. That's one of the secrets of getting the perfect fried rice. You're going to toast this rice. It takes some time so please do not be tired of stirring it and you don't want it to burn. You're going to stir it. So after toasting your rice for a few minutes, this has taken me about 12 minutes. Okay, I'm going to go ahead now to add in my blended green pepper. You know I told you I was going to show you how I'm using it. So this, this will also add some color to give your rice that nice yellowish green color that Nigerians love in their fried rice. So I'm going to rinse this out. I have some warm water here. I'm just rinsing it. Apart from the color, it's also going to add a lot of lovely flavor to this rice. I also have my chicken stock here. Very, very important to cook your rice with chicken stock. It's going to add a lot of flavor as well. So, so like this, we're already building flavor for the perfect fried rice. So just stir. This water is definitely not going to cook my rice, but first I'm going to season it with some chicken seasoning powder. So just add your preferred seasoning powder. Mix, 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 stir. 
your rice should taste good from this stage. So if you want a deeper yellow or green color, feel free to add some turmeric, you can add some more curry powder, you can add more green bell pepper, all these things help you get that deep color. Then some people sell stuff like fried rice spice. Honestly, I've never tried it before. I've never had a need to try fried rice spice. I don't know. If you've ever tried fried rice spice, let us know what you think about it. Is it good? What does it even taste like? And is it a must use in your fried rice? I don't know. So I'm going to taste the rice now because it must taste good at this point. Mm. Tastes good, but I'm going to add some salt. Okay, some salt to, you know, make that taste come out well. All right. And now this water in here is not going to cook my fried rice, even though when you're cooking fried rice, you want to be really, really careful because your rice is still supposed to be not strong, but still firm. It's well cooked, but still firm. If you get what I mean, that is the perfect fried rice consistency. So a little more warm water. I'm using warm water because I don't want to bring down the temperature of my rice. Who am I kidding? This pot is not going to be enough for all this rice. So I have a second pot here. I'm just going to move some. You can see I seasoned everything in here. So everything's going to have the same color, consistency and taste. I'm just going to divide it now so that um, the pot will be enough. Yeah. about 15 minutes don't forget to check on your rice and this is it the rice looks good it is well cooked so I'm going to turn off the heat now and then go check on the other pot but it should be ready to I like to leave it to cool so that by the time I'm ready to use it it is almost cool and it is firm I don't know I just feel like it gives me better texture so now that I'm done I'm going to leave the pot open and just move it to one side let it keep let it just cool down now look at this beautiful rich color. It's giving Niger fried rice. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to leave it and let it cool and then move on to the next thing. My rice is ready. I'm just going to go ahead to cut my vegetables. Now, one question I always get from people is if you have to cut your carrot, because maybe because they always look so nice and neat, I don't know, but I cut them by hand. I don't have anything against machines, I have quite a bit myself, but sometimes I just prefer to cut my carrot. So when I have my carrot like this, in case you want to know how I cut mine, I'll just, you know, cut it again. I don't know if you can see what I'm doing. You have to be careful though, so you do not cut yourself. So I'll just get something like this, and then I'll cut it into maybe like three, so I have like three strips and then I start to cut it as um, equal as possible so that they look alike and that is how I cut my carrots easy peasy lemon squeezy <laughs> okay so I'm just gonna go ahead to cut up all my vegetables and I'll show you the next step So now to part two of our ninja fried rice, our special party fried rice. You're going to add some cooking oil into your pan. I'm going to be making the vegetables, stir frying the vegetables really. So I'm just going to add some cooking oil in here and allow it to get hot. Before I start stir frying the vegetable, I'm going to fry my liver. This is ox liver, well cow liver. Now typical Nigerian fried rice, you'll find liver i mean is it really nigerian fried rice without liver i don't know so i've boiled my liver and i've diced it into this size so i'm adding in my cooked liver we're going to let it fry but what you don't want is for the liver to be fried dry mm -mm -mm. 
just for it to develop some color it's always popping so you want to be careful <laughs> so we're just going to oops so we're just going to allow this to fry but not to dry and then i'll take it off the heat so guys in this same oil that you fried your liver you're going to keep cooking with it you know even though it's you know, it's a thorn black from the liver. Don't worry about it. It's good. Keep cooking with it. I'm going to add in my onions. Add in your chopped onion. Spare. I'm also going to add some ginger and garlic paste to this mix and then mix, mix, mix. You want to do this on medium low heat, nothing too high. All right. So let's saute our onions for about two minutes. After a while, go in with your carrot. I like to add my carrot first because I feel like it's the hardest kind of vegetable here. Not like I feel like it is. But everything pretty much happens fast from here. So you have to work really fast. I'm also adding in some runner beans, okay? We're going to give this about 30 to 45 seconds head start before I put the other vegetables because you don't want this to be too soft at the end of the day. Now when you're stir frying, you have to crank up the heat so that your vegetables will not get too soft, okay? So now I love to use maddish. Let me show you the full thing that I've opened it. But this is maddish um, curry and chicken. So it's curry and chicken flavored together. So I'm going to use it to season my vegetables and once I do this I do not need to add curry powder in here I'm also going to add in some dry thyme you know every part of your dish needs to taste fantastic add in your bell peppers I'm adding in the green bell pepper and red bell pepper now red bell pepper is not compulsory but I just like a burst of colors so that's why I'm adding some sweet corn goes in. Look at all these beautiful colors, all of them. You have to walk fast at this time so that your vegetables do not become too soft. I'm adding in my liver. Gosh, look at these colors, guys. It is giving correct authentic nigerian fried rice so taste and add some more seasonings if you need to it must taste good as well so when you combine it with your rice everything is just so lovely at this point my vegetables are all done because you still want it nice vibrant colors and you still want them nice and crunchy This is the part where I get to combine my vegetables and uh, my rice. So I'm going to just put in my vegetable, my rice here, just a bit, because I want the vegetables and the rice to come to you know to be well combined. So I'm going to put it in there, mix some vegetables, and then mix, mix, mix. This is looking so good. Now your vegetables would have been well seasoned, your rice also well seasoned. So if there's any adjustment you need to do, it will be very minimal, but you need to taste it. Before I, you know, take it off, I like to add a little bit of sesame oil. This is going to introduce a really lovely flavor and aroma as well. So you just want to drizzle a bit. This is perfect. Then I'm going to put in some green peas. My green peas are nice and ready to eat, so that is why I did not stir fry it with the other vegetables. So you want to put it in. When you're happy with how everything looks, then you take it off the heat. Now look at this. This is your fried rice egg. It will not spoil easily at all. Preserve this in the fridge for the next one week. You're still eating fried rice, I promise you. Alrighty. And before I take it off the heat, final, 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 I'm going to put some spring onions and then I'm going to take it off. So just sprinkle some spring onion. And this, my friends, 
this set is done. So I'm just going to continue combining until I'm done with the fried rice and the vegetables. So I'm just going to give it a quick taste to see that everything is in order. I don't know if you can still hear that crunch. The vegetables, still very nice and crunchy. We're good to go, guys. You keep doing this until you get to the last batch. This is the last batch of my fried rice. So everything goes in. You've got to gauge with your eyes the measurement of the vegetable and the rice so that everything you know, flows together. I'm just putting everything here. And my spring onions. Mix, mix, mix. And once I'm done mixing, we are good. Make your fried rice this way and see something very, very easy and very delicious. And every part of your dish is well seasoned. Wow. And ladies and gentlemen, my fried rice is all done. Guys, you self, look at it now. Look at the color of that rice. And look at how the rice is standing, warm, warm, grainy like this. This is how to make Nigerian fried rice, that the texture is perfect. The look is excellent and the taste, hmm, hmm, hmm. Fantastic. The vegetables well seasoned, the rice, everything. This is good. Make your fried rice like this. And you see that tip that I showed you at the beginning? Where you, you know, you blended some green bell peppers and added it to the rice. That is the secret ingredient. It changes everything. It's a game changer. So try your next fried rice that way and come back and tell me what you think about it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really, really do appreciate you. Till I see you in another recipe video, take care and keep eating good food. And of course, don't forget to share this video, okay? Love you guys. Bye.